All right, this is a rare, rare moment when Nick is speechless. Something that I assume would be a relatively small thing has mushroomed. It's a mushroom cloud now. What are we our, doing? Our empire. <laughs> Flight AA586 has been canceled. Spoiler alert, we make it back to the boat and we make it into the water too. Before we get caught up, hey, could you do us a favor? Hit like or subscribe and leave us a comment. We love interacting with you in the comment section. All right, so we hauled out a few weeks ago and got quite a few projects underway. Then with Clarity safely on the hard, we jumped on an airplane to get to our home state of Oregon. Spending time with family and friends really recharged our batteries. It wasn't all fun and games and swinging through the trees. We also got to spend time with our new partners in the coffee business. More on that coming up. But make no mistake, we've got salt water in the veins. And every time we saw a boat out there bobbing on the ocean, we couldn't wait to get back out there ourselves. Well, one final trip to the storage unit and we are ready for our red eye. All right, fill us in. Okay, we're, I just... We're, hey, wait, first of all, we're all packed up. We are so packed up. I even washed the sheets on the bed we just left. And I just sat down, looked at my text. It's four o'clock, our flight's in seven hours. And I'm like, flight AA586 has been canceled. I can't say I'm upset about it. I'm not really very upset about it either. <laughs> Mom, are you upset about it? No, I'm happy. Yeah, check it out. All right, we're here outside of Precision Fulfillment and we're gonna see if this is the place for us to use for distributing our copy. Huh. But you can't get this, which is good for us. Yes. You can't get this, <laughs> you cannot. You could say the company mascot gave us the right vibe right away. We're pretty sure we've found some of the best coffee in the entire world. Getting it shipped fast is super important. We were really impressed with everything we saw at Precision. You guys, this seems so meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> they oh, weren't even man. supposed to be here. They're supposed to be on the boat. I know. Their flight got canceled. Yeah, our flight got canceled Saturday, Saturday night. night. Oh, geez. So we were, wow. we're in bonus days. Like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what are we our, doing? our empire. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, look at that belly. You ready? <laughs> All right, here we go. First leg. Portland to Dallas. Well, it's uh, 5.30 in the morning and we actually got some sleep from Portland to Dallas. Home stretch. We're gonna see Clarity. It's been seven weeks. I miss her. All right, take two. We have only one more step to go in this process and that's to get the baggage and drive an hour to the boat. And our friends who are all pro have their truck here already and they're gonna drop it off for us to drive straight to the boat. So grateful. And then I'm gonna crawl into bed and sleep for hopefully a couple hours. But overall, it wasn't so bad. I think I slept probably four hours out of the uh, six hour flight, seven hour flight. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. This is my little cousin, JC. She's from Illinois, but she had to meet the O'Kellys. Oh my God. I got her. excited. <laughs> oh, we're a little sleep deprived. Yeah, thanks for helping us. Hello. <laughs> and wow. This is first class uh, delivery. 
the detailed car is at the airport ready for us to drive drive home to Clarity. Well, look at this. I wonder if our new gunboat is here still. <laughs> I was thinking that. I think it sailed away. Oh yeah. Oh, I see a lot more boats oh. in here. Wow. Um, I think I see her. Oh my gosh, she's got a ladder. Oh sweet. Oh. I'll go and load the heavy stuff. Uh, thank you. Oh, who's gonna fish that one out? Uh, All right, it's uh, day one back on Clarity, and we got a really good sleep after that red eye. We slept, uh, I don't know, about 10 hours. And now we are gonna give Clarity a good wash down. She's pretty dirty on the outside, but not too bad. Uh, the inside wasn't bad at all, and uh, it's not too hot out. I guess we're getting lucky with the weather. I mean, it's warm, but it could be a lot worse, so. There are tons of boats here in Zimmerman. We've got uh, a lot of work on the engines to do and a bunch of wiring. But before we get going on all that, we're gonna go ahead and wash the boat so we're not tracking dirt everywhere. All right, this boat project is holding true to boat project form. And that is, Something that I assume would be a relatively small thing has mushroomed. It's a mushroom cloud now. It's mushroomed into a much, much bigger thing. There was the original project. And that was just to add two more Relyon RB300 batteries to our existing bank. Simple enough, right? Get the right cables, find a space, and you've made a battery box. Everything fits perfectly, and so we'll just bolt them in, bring the voltages within, you know, 0.05 volts of each other, and, and we're good. Two discoveries have changed everything about this project, and it's gotten much, much bigger. First of all, I load tested these batteries individually just to make sure that they were all up to spec and everything was okay and uh, one of them failed. It could be a bad cell in the battery, it could be the BMS, the battery management system on board. But the other thing that's made this a bit more complicated is the battery shelf itself has got rot happening. There's a leak coming in from uh, the windlass and it's been leaking for a long time. Just one of these slow little trickle leaks and the water has intruded into that battery shelf and it's just turned to mush. It's probably been happening since before we bought the boat. It doesn't really matter. Getting rid of this shelf is no big deal. And I got some good news. I was a little worried that that water had intruded into the, um, the vertical surface, but I drilled a little test hole and uh, it's all dry. So Leopard built this right. They kept the shelf separate from the uh, wall when they glass it all up, and so uh, the rot has been has been um, isolated. And uh, rebuilding a new shelf or just leaving the shelf out altogether, perfectly fine. The more space in here, the better. But it is certainly a lot more work. All right, it is day three, day four. I've lost track uh, of being back on Clarity getting projects done. Uh, I'm editing the next video and uh, Nick is doing this battery project. And I wanted to show you one of the casualties of uh, our trip back to Portland. So I just noticed it. Looks like it's my life vest that exploded. And to be perfectly honest, this life vest has made me a little nervous um, because it's kind of old. So anyway, it was on the list to get a new one and I'm glad that uh, that was a good reminder. <laughs> It's a little overwhelming now with uh, the amount of cleaning that needs to get done still, but we got to prioritize. 
and some of this can get done once we get put back in the water hopefully in a couple of days but i also wanted to show you this plant this cuban oregano that went crazy thanks to our neighbors uh, rex and cat for watering and also our friends um, Bedouin for watering this while we were gone. So this thing went from one stalk to like four stalks and it's uh, yeah, Jack and the Beanstalk here. Ooh, final stages, half day job, three, four days later. We've moved all the rely on batteries from our mostly dry area in the four Lazarette to inside the boat. Evidently, these batteries are not IP66 rated, so they're not like all weather, all conditions sort of cases. So, uh, just catamarans and Rafa suggested that we bring them inside the boat. So that's what we've done. So I'm putting uh, this last piece of trim in place so that we can still use a little bit of the storage area. But uh, yeah, overall, I think we've lost some of our inside storage. We're not gonna be able to keep as much peanut butter on in this area as we used to. I mean, look at all this peanut butter and coconut oil. All right, this is a rare, rare moment when Nick is speechless. I've never seen him this worked out. Your shirt is soaked. That was a race against time. Me against the batteries. You look tired. I'm really pooped. It's hot in here. This is heavy, bent over, precise work when you're dealing with you know what is it twelve thousand dollars worth of batteries and you've got these cables that are as big as my thumb bigger than my thumb <sighs> it's been a workout <laughs> Woo! <sighs> boom <laughs> This is uh, day six on the hard and it is hot. It's still 90 degrees at like seven o'clock and uh, <laughs> makes sleeping really, really hard. We are grinding on the video for tomorrow in this little, uh, uh, I guess, portable, which has a little bit of AC, not much. We'll also fly home to Portland, Oregon to get some family time and make a big announcement at the end of the video. So we're putting the boat in the water. Well, we're not putting the boat in the water. We've got a crew putting the boat in the water and they did a great job on our bottom work we got a new coat of bottom paint. Rod, our propeller guy, has got the props spinning just right. We got a couple more tasks to take care of, and then we are in business. Season six is about to begin. And uh, I feel like Clarity is in the best shape of her life. And it's hot and I'm sweating. Oh, I got bug bites. Um, I'm just, I got my mind on the prize, which is air conditioning in what, say 15 minutes? Uh, hopefully I won't have to bleed the system. I almost always have to bleed the system. But soon the ac is coming tonight is soon. is going to be a wonderful night's sleep it's only like 92 93 degrees but the humidity just sticky and hot and you don't even have to move hardly at all before you're just drenched ah, it's nerve-wracking though that's a lot of fiberglass a lot of machinery 
all resting precariously on this little itty bit trailer. Wow, you made a huge mess. Is that your sweat? Yeah. Well, we uh, used the barnacle buster really successfully on the engines. And Patrick Leclerc says that this stuff works wonders on the air conditioners. And we haven't treated these in the five years that we've owned the boat, so it may be time. We've been getting a couple errors up at the controller for uh, high pressure and that's typically an indication that there's growth or something in all the plumbing. Here we go with Barnacle Buster doing a four to one ratio once again. Nastier than when it came out of the engine. We've been carrying around some barnacles. In the process of doing a Barnacle Buster job on the air conditioner here, I think I may have discovered that the air conditioner is plumbed backwards. And it's been plumbed backwards for as long as we have owned the boat. So I'm triple checking. I mean, it is labeled inlet and flow. So I'm just triple checking my thinking here. Otherwise, I don't know how it's worked all this time. Here it comes. We are designing our empire. We've got this horizon, and there's clouds. Then you got the sail. Oh, Kelly style coffee. We're here just coming up with the new O'Kelly style logo. Pretty good. Not bad, eh? Not bad. And lightning just struck. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, a couple hundred meters away at most. Pretty serious lightning going on all around us, so it's pretty spooky. Well, we're back in the water, but we're not done with the boat projects. We've got a few more big ones coming up next week, and then we get underway, heading northbound. And thanks to everyone for all of your love and support. When we're working hard on the boat, it makes all the difference knowing that you're behind us.